you having your difficulty? In the arms, the legs, or like, the abdomen? Just the whole thing. thing. Well, I think this is, wasn't so bad. You guys? Okay. I think we should do everything. Okay, good idea. I think so, too. All right. <laughs> so, aortic arch, right? You've got, if you're looking, this is not, the, this is better, right? So if you come off here, what's the first branch? Brachycephalic. Then you have your right comma carotid, your right subclavian. Then you have your left comma carotid, your left subclavian. Left subclavian becomes the axillary right at that point. So look where the, look where the bone is, okay? The axillary is here. Then we become the brachial. And then you'll notice that the, this arm is twisted and in the wrong position, so follow this back over here. The brachial will pop up in front of the elbow and split into the radial in, in this case. Let's see. It's going to be, yeah, the radial and the ulnar. Okay? And then that's the palmar right there. Right? So if we do the vein side of it, um, you're going to have your subclavians come back, and they make a little brachycephalic when they join with the jugulars. And here's a longer brachycephalic brachycephalic when they join with the jugulars on this side. And then this one that comes down and stays on the inside, that's your basilic. This is your cephalic. Okay. You don't see your brachial because it's hidden behind this. It's, it's, they just didn't put it in here. But they have this little nubby where it would have gone. And then you've got on this model nothing. On this model you can actually see the radial and the ulna right there. Okay. But otherwise, this is still going to be cephalic and still bacillic. Right? So then we come down here, and we're going to start here. This is your celiac trunk. Notice this is going to the gastric artery. This is going to be the splenic artery. That's your hepatic artery. Okay. Then we come down. That's your superior mesenteric. Then we have your renal. Then we have your gonadal. Then we have your inferior mesenteric. Then we have the common iliac, the internal iliac, the external iliac. External iliac continues when you hit the femur. It's now the femoral, and it goes all the way down. It comes back here. It's the popliteal. Then it's going to be the posterior tibial. And this is going to be the anterior tibial. Okay? If you follow that on the venous side, notice they're not showing you any of the inputs in here except for the renals. Okay? And they're showing you where the hepatics are at the top. Right? Um, so if we come back down here, we still have the common iliac vein, we have the internal iliac vein, we have the external iliac vein, but now this little sucker comes down and makes the great saphenous that goes all the way down, and you get the small saphenous and, but on the calf part, and you get the great saphenous continuing down the front, right? You do see the post, you do see the anterior tibial right here, okay? The femoral would have been this branch that would have come down here and run along the femur. So the femoral is more interior in this particular case for the veins, right? So that's basically what you're seeing on these guys, right? Now for, if we come up here to the head region, here is your common jugular, okay? Notice the jugular is going to have an internal part that goes up into the head, and it has an external part that goes up on the skull, okay? Same thing with the carotids. The carotids are the common carotids here, and then they're going to split into an external carotid and an internal carotid that will go into the skull. Okay. Those aren't the best models for those. That, that model with the see-through head is actually the better model for those. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm.